Hello again, my friends, and hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hunter, and if you haven't been here before, if you have been here, thank you guys for coming back to support me on another video. Now, we're going to be playing Overwatch today, and we're going to be playing as Reaper, and we're going to be doing objective controls. So, what I'm going to be talking to you guys in this video is very important, and it's about glitches and hacking. Hackers are going to be blocked from Overwatch and banned for life. Their accounts are going to be removed, and this is a very important thing. I went over on my channel before Overwatch even came out, and I told you guys that Overwatch Blizzard Entertainment was going to be banning hackers for life. Now, there's several hacks that have already been implemented into the game. Sadly, I thought it would take a little longer before this happened, but on PC, there's things that are called wall hacks that we'll get into momentarily. And then on console and PC, there's also loot box generation websites. And this is a big problem because people are already cheating in the game. And it's sad to see that the community of Overwatch is already resorting to this. And a lot of people are going to start getting banned. And the community of Overwatch is going to dim down quite a bit. Now, all the people that are going to be caught for doing this is going to be removed by Blizzard. They already stated that there's already a couple people that have been removed. They haven't stated the names of the accounts, and they aren't going to, but they have announced that hackers are already being removed from PC, and the console versions are also getting loot box generation removed as well. So, let's begin with what wall hacks are. So, what is a wall hack? Basically, it's a third-party software running in the background while you're playing the game that allows you to see enemies behind walls. Now, there is something similar into the game that already does this, and that's Widowmaker's ability. But if they're not using Widowmaker's ability and they can see you through the wall, that's cheating. So if they seem to be killing you a lot and you're coming around a wall and you're already getting pre-fired on, especially if you're a Zenyatta, because remember, Zenyatta doesn't have footsteps. If you're getting shot and you seem to be dying a lot behind a wall and you're like, why am I dying so much? Look at the kill screens. If they're killing you and pre-firing at you before you're behind the before you're actually in front of them, they might be wall hacking. And if they're doing it consistently, you might want to report that account. If they're just really good at the game or they seem to be really good at the game, don't report them because that would be wrong and misguiding. But if somebody does get reported enough times, there is a system in place where Blizzard will look into it and they will ban people that are caught cheating. Now, Blizzard isn't going to ban people that are caught not cheating. It's the thing. But there are going to be a couple false errors and false readings. And some people might get banned accidentally. But they can put in a ticket to Blizzard Entertainment to get that removed. And they can look into it even further and see if they're cheating or not and look at previous gameplays, look at third-party software if it's running. And if they do see third-party software, you're going to instantly be banned. So the third-party software has to be running to be wall hacking. This is also only on PC as of right now, so that's good. If the console players are thinking that there's wall hacks, don't worry. Wall hacking is not on console yet. Now, the thing that is on console and PC is going to be loot box generation. Now there's websites in place that actually allow you to generate loot boxes to your account illegally and this is a problem because there might be people that are already in the game that are only level 1, level 2, maybe even level 10. I'm sorry, but out of 10 loot boxes you are not going to have all of the items in the game. Yes, there are some people out there that could have actually bought that many loot boxes at the beginning and got all of the items in the game. But there's some people that are just cheating and getting loot boxes for free. And this is completely wrong because Blizzard Entertainment loses out on money and also loses out on playtime on their game. And people aren't playing for the game to actually earn these rewards. And for the people that are playing the game and trying to earn the rewards legit, well, they're falling behind of the people that are cheating. Also, they're falling behind of the people that are paying for the loot boxes, but that's a different story. They actually paid to do that, which is completely okay. If people are caught actually generating loot boxes, Blizzard Entertainment also announced that they would be banning these accounts. So I would recommend not doing any of these hacks or glitches. I would also recommend not doing any of this stuff like wall hacks or loot box generation or anything else that pops up. Just don't do it. If your account gets banned for one, you'll never be able to play the game again. And if you had a downloaded copy of the game, You'd have to rebuy the game completely. Now, if you had a disc version, yes, you could just make a new account or a new PSN, but hey, 
who wants to start all of that work over again? Uh, definitely not me, so I'm not going to do it. That's all for this video, guys. If you all enjoyed the video and if it was informative, drop a like, share it with your friends, and if you enjoyed the gameplay, at least enjoyed the gameplay, drop a comment and let me know. If you want to see more gameplay of Overwatch, also leave a comment about that as well. And, well, this is Hunter and Violent Privilege, and I'll see you all in the next video.